satellite. Oh, yeah. Dad, Cole, can you use the radio? We'll tell him. This one. Mr. Phillips, your numbers are no good. <laughs> the thing is that it's not just the numbers and the thing with his diet is that his body doesn't know what to do. What does not in the winter? That's why the great numbers are bad. What? Because his body doesn't know where to send the fats or the carbohydrates or the protein. It sends everything to the wrong places. He doesn't want to change his diet. He's like a hamburger, french fry kind of guy. Yeah. Or, you know, a steak, that kind of stuff. I'm like, do you eat any vegetables? And he looks any at me like I'm crazy. Like you, I was. He has one grandson. Had to go right into Valley View. And then his daughter is pregnant. Mm-hmm. And I think it's another boy. But they live in Nebraska. Yeah, city, of, city of Point of Park. So I'm like, don't you want to eat better so don't you can you, uh, see your grandkids? To Shoemaker. Yeah. Play with them. So, I mean, he... Like he mows his lawn, he mows the neighbor's lawn. See that palm tree. Like when he's going, he goes. He Lisa Stansfield. Yeah. In that respect, he's like Kurt. He yeah. always has to be busy and going and going. Mm-hmm. But then he eats like shit. And then on the weekend, he's partakes of <laughs> beverages. I'm going to the park. Silk floss tree. Baked potatoes. Yeah, I remember going over to Grandma Pearlie's on Sundays or whatever days for dinner. Yeah. And that big brown roast. Uncle Troy. It was tasted great. It was really good. Yeah. But you could just, the fat in your mouth, you could taste it. Like it left that greasy feeling. Mm-hmm. That's why the cinnamon and apples were good afterwards. See, Tom hates roast. And I think because he was the youngest of five kids, and so, and his mom didn't work, so they just had dad's income. So mm-hmm. their meals were, you know, roast things that of that nature, so he's like, Of nature, of Lisa stands roast. <laughs> Jesse. That's what I did for many years. I fix a roast and then I divide it in that into other meals. I buy one big roast and I could spread it out for five meals. I remember. We might have had sandwiches with gravy. Oh, I remember the sandwiches. Sometimes just sandwiches and then the next day sandwiches with gravy. Baked potatoes. Just with what? The potatoes that were cooked with the roast. Oh, yeah. In the crock pot. Yeah. Because you're used to 
City of Santa Fe Springs. Geese or the ducks. Yeah, that's so that the string went through and it Here kept them all in a line. Huh. Are you recording your adventures? Are you recording? Did you get a new video of the ring in the car? Here at Alondra. Wendy's everywhere. Well, he told me to go there. And there was one like. So it's hard. I don't know, maybe um, five parking lines over. And my stupid GPS told me to go out and go around. Go to GPS. And was sending me three miles the other direction. Did he tell you? No. <laughs> Almost there. Oh. At work, I get irritated with people on their GPSs. Because they'll go on streets that aren't streets. Yeah. Like, there's the promenade, which isn't a street. But they'll make a right because their GPS says to make a right. Mm -hmm. And then you pull over and they're like, but my GPS said, like, okay. Tell you what, I'll let you go without a ticket if you keep going straight forward and you follow that. And they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, because it goes straight out and you take a 30 foot drop into the ocean. Can you do it? <laughs> or do you want the ticket? Like, it does what? You drop off into the ocean if you keep going this way. <laughs> That's me. That Mexican palm. Because I came, I think it was Valley View, yeah, because Firestone, that's right there. That's where I get the hose made for the oh, power steering. Uh -huh. Is that Claremans still open for business, the Northwoods Inn? Yeah. Okay.
Tristina. Couldn't have a seat for 